Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking bold and beautiful. Now if you've been paying attention, you know that the highlight over the last week has been Hope and Thomas. Making it really clear that there's going to be some kind of an affair. But they just missed the perfect opportunity when Hope and Thomas had a last minute meeting. They had to go out of town. That's about time to check with the Forster pilot again just to see like if you know like there's like an update maybe it hasn't been that long since uh, I spoke to him he said he would get back to me once the repairs are done he said it's, it doesn't look like it's going to be fixed tonight Liam was just beside himself about this trip so dude it was supposed to be just like a quick trip there and back they go they have the he meeting and then the Forster jet would have mechanical problems I know she was supposed to be home by now certain that Thomas was going to try to make a move on his wife. Oh, now it looks like what, she's going to spend the night there with him? Like, Liam, I know it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. If Thomas behaves himself. There's no reason to think he won't. He's talking to everyone about it. Steffi, I, 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 I think it's pretty like this would start to happen. Hope brought Thomas back to work on her life. There's about? always going to be business trips. There's always going to be these special personal appearances yeah. that Hope has to make to promote her line. I mean, it's naive to think that Thomas wouldn't want to tag along every chance he gets. Whoa, Liam, that's not what happened. The buyers wanted to see Thomas. No, could be a bit of a temptation. Your brother, my wife, together, hundreds of miles away, alone for the night. Keeps coming back to the same thing that he trusts his wife and that's all he can yeah, hold on to. Here's Hope and look, Liam, I know this is your worst nightmare here. Your wife being stranded in another city with the guy who's literally been obsessing over her for yeah no i know but well thankfully uh he behaved himself thank you thank you yeah and uh didn't take advantage so good you know that for sure i, I hope would have told me if he tried anything but then we have steffi but I, see, I don't even like the fact that my mind is going there but it's going there like there's a lot there's so many things i can forgive but not that you know, never, never that. Always meddling in other people's business. What I didn't say to Liam is that it's not Thomas he should be concerned about. It's Hope. She thinks she's got it all figured out. And she is kind of on to Hope. She can see that Hope is displaying some uh, affectionate feelings towards Thomas. And she feels like that no, Thomas no, has done the work, no, he's put in the time, no, no, no. and he is getting better. And he's, and she's really afraid you that Hope family, is going you know, to so make all this come crashing down. Moral person I've ever met. You're nothing like your mother. You love your family. You always want to be with Liam, and, and nothing is going to come between you two. About Hope, you said? And she's so determined not to let that happen. He's dropping and overseeing what she thought was Hope coming on to Tom. They're on the way back? Yeah. And of course, so Hope hey, denies it 100%. Don't have to have that in my head for the rest of the night. I'm telling you, you, Thomas is doing the work as a designer, as a co parent. I heard him. Thomas isn't the one you should be concerned about. He has to set him straight. I heard him. Thomas. I assume Hope. He was doing better, okay. but now that he's yeah, starting to pick I'm, up these signals right. from Hope, oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's starting, starting to go back into the fantasies. Yeah, feel like I'm different. Like when Steffi says that he's a changed man, you gotta believe her. I was gonna say, I feel even more alone. You don't wanna miss this.